Hello there and welcome to another edition of Rolls Unveiled on Extreme 2 Challenge Belt, a much better Extreme 2 episode than the ET of uh, New Blood. I hope you enjoy. This episode contains the most out of the arenas out of any episode of Robot Wars. The first melee was the only occasion in Robot Wars where two different robots threw a robot out of the arena at the same battle. As both Dan Tomkia and Matilda sent Hypnodisc and Spitzy for that matter, and Sir Chromalot out respectively. This episode marks the final appearance of Hypnodisc and Sir Chromalot. However, Sir Chromalot did attempt to fight in the Seventh Wars with a radically different design, a Scorpion and Killer Carrot 2, as well as another opponent. In its qualifier, it was torn to pieces by Scorpion and failed to qualify. Tornado vs Terrorhurst lasted 19 seconds, making it the ninth shortest battle in the UK World Wars. This is the only Extreme 2 event from which all the robots had competed in Series 6, barring the old stars, obviously. In this episode, announcer Stuart McDonald pronounces Dan Tomkia correctly, a break of tradition, but mispronounces Sir Cromalt as Sir Chompalot, having correctly pronounced the name for over three years previously. He presumably got the latter confused with the robot Chompalot, which had competed in the Iron Maidens. Challenge Belt was the last tournament filmed for Extreme 2, and therefore the last episode produced for BBC2 before Robot Wars moved to 5. Andrew Marchant confirms cut footage from the Tornado fight with Terrorhurt, where Tornado attacked the house robots following the cease being called. The pit was then raised to allow Terrorhurt to escape, but it had already used too much energy attempting to clamber out of the pit, so the impromptu encore came to a halt. In another deleted scene, Dan Tompkia flipped Smidzy out of the arena. In 2003, Hypnodisc was inducted to the Combat Robot Hall of Fame as an inaugural member, in recognition of its innovation and influential design. Dan Tompkia is the only robot to flip multiple robots out the arena in more than one fight. Vader is one of four machines thrown out the arena by both a competitor and a house robot, M2 and Matilda respectfully. It shares this with Stinger, Napalm and King Buxton. In both episodes of Extreme 2 that Terra Hertz appeared in, it was in the same episode as Dan Tomkia and Tornado, fighting them both in those episodes. And that is it for today. Extreme 2 Challenge Belt is a massive step up in quality compared to uh, New Blood and Heat A. You know, it's a fun episode. Every battle is just pure action packed. Uh, Dan Tomkia just throwing him the disc out um, in its final appearance for Hit the Disc. Um, obviously, at this point, you know, Hit the Disc was definitely you know showing its age and of course unfortunately it just didn't do very well at this point um the second melee is not as entertaining but it does have a lot of you know brilliant moments you know uh iron ore's axe gets stuck on um barbarous and of course vader going flying out the arena brilliant stuff uh terahertz his maddening violent machine is smashing up the opponents uh smidzy behind the brunt of it poor smidzy and of course, uh, Iron Ore get thrown out by Dan Tomkir. Dan Tomkir and Terrorist fighting in the final. Terrorist once again just mutilating his opponents. Um, the fight itself, definitely a um, the final fight itself between Tornado and Terrorist. Uh, very quick fight. You know, it just shows how skillful uh, Tornado is as a you know powerhouse of a robot. Quite deservingly uh, keeping the belt. But you know, every robot in this is you've know, got a memorable moment to say you know sir chromalot entering the arena with this like army gear and like chains all around it it actually had entanglement devices funny enough uh before it was um allowed properly it's a shame we never saw sir chromalot again but then having seen the new version of it that uh, it was going to appear in series 7 i can kind of understand the second version third version i guess you could say fourth version fifth version uh, i don't care um it's it was a very boring looking robot you know it, it's for some reason series 7 a lot of robots decided to go for a boxy look um, which is kind of weird to think about um and you know if we had another boxy robot especially one that is a robot that we've seen before uh because you know major tom went for that look as well i i don't think it would have worked well and i don't think it would have survived all that long you know everyone recognizes the you know tire shaped robot with the flipper over the box robot um but then again, you know, it's a shame we didn't see Super so more. Obviously, this being Hypnotis' final ever appearance is pretty damning, honestly. You know, Hypnotis went from being this destructive robot, one of the most memorable machines, and then, of course, just being reduced to a robot that gets one hit in and then thrown out the arena afterwards. It's pretty, you know, upsetting stuff, but at the same time, it just shows, like, the evolution of all the robots. Dan Tomkin, in particular, being a newcomer, just dominating the field. Um, really great stuff. You know, Challenge Bell very entertaining episode probably one of the best in extreme 2 in my opinion overall yeah really good 
So let's have a look at what comes next in our randomizer. So we're on series two now. This is the first time we've actually had a series two episode. Um, it's taken quite a while for series two to prop its head, but we've now finally got a series two episode. Surprisingly, series three has not been picked up yet, despite the fact that it has way more episodes, and a lot of episodes for that matter. Um, but series two, Heat C, this will be interesting to say the very least. And I'll see you next time.